Welcome to Miniranch. Miniranch provides single sign-on solutions for Confluence, and as we know that is the best OAuth and OpenID SSO solution available in the market. So in this video, we are going to set up Confluence single sign-on with Glue Server, using OAuth protocol. Let's get started. Go to the Confluence dashboard, and, click on the setting icon on the top right corner and select Manage Apps option. Go to Find New Apps. You can search here for add-ons in Atlassian Marketplace. Go to the Search tab and type OAuth SSO and press Enter. To download the plugin click on Free Trial. Click on Accept and Install to agree with ManyRange policy and terms of use. After successful installation, use the license key to activate the plugin. And after activation of the license key, click on ManyRange OAuth Client. Now, you are on Configure OAuth tab. We will be covering Glue Server setup here. You can also go through the setup on this guide. Here, you will get step-by-step -step instructions. So firstly, we are configuring Glue Server as OAuth provider. Log into your Glue Server. In the left menu, go to OpenID Connect and select Clients, and then click on Add Client. Enter the client name. Go to the authentication method for the token endpoint drop-down and select Client Secret Post. Go to Redirect Login URI section, and click on Add Login Redirect URI. You will find the Login Redirect URI in the plugin, which is used to tell the OAuth provider where to send the token after authentication. Copy it, and paste it in the given field, and click on OK. Go down to Scopes, and click on Add Scopes. Select Profile to access the user's profile data. Select OpenID to authenticate with Glue Server, and select Email to access user's email address. Click on OK. Response type is used against the authorization endpoint, to define what authorization server must return in its response. Click on Add Response Type. Select Code for requesting authorization code grant. Token for requesting an access token. ID token to provide an assertion of the identity of the resource owner, as understood by the authorization server. Click on OK. Grant type refers to the way, an application gets an access token. Add the grant type as authorization code, to authorize the client to access protected data. Click on OK. Click on Post Logout Redirect URIs. Enter the URL, where you want to redirect the page after logout, here. We will put our Confluence base URL. Click on OK, scroll down, and click on Add. New client is added successfully. Navigate to the Advanced Settings tab. Configuring Front Channel Logout URL is optional. To configure Front Channel Logout URI, enter the Confluence base URL and append it with the URL as shown. Click on OK. Scroll down, and update the settings. Settings updated successfully. Now, in the left panel, under OpenID Connect, go to Clients. Select OX Trust Admin GUI from the Clients list. Navigate to the Advanced Settings tab. To configure Front Channel Logout URI, enter the Confluence Base URL and append it with the URL as shown. Click on OK. Scroll down and update the settings. Now, Let's set up Confluence as an OAuth client. Go to Configure OAuth tab. As earlier we had selected Glue Server as an application. Go to the Confluence OAuth application that you created in Glue Server. From the Standard Settings tab, copy the client ID, and paste it in the given field in the plugin. View the client secret, copy it, and paste it in the given field in the plugin. Enter the scopes as shown. Enter your Glue Server's domain name. Click on Save. Now you can see a OAuth settings updated message. Scroll down and click on Test Configuration, and you can see successful test configuration here. Along with username, name, and email. After successful test connection, you will get the CSSO button on the Confluence login page now. Click on Use OAuth login button, and you will be redirected to Glue Server login page for OAuth authentication. Now enter your Glue Server credentials, and click on Login button. 
you will be successfully logged into your Confluence dashboard using Blue Server credentials. Go to the user profile to check the user data. And you can see the user's email ID here. We have covered Confluence SSO configuration using Blue Server. To understand more about OAuth configuration for your Confluence instance, raise a ticket with us with a link in the description. Manurent provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.